In this film, we will show you how to use a suction machine to clear a baby's nostrils. Wash your hands and put on a mask and gloves before you start. So when there is a baby who needs suction... For this, you need to use a catheter, either French gauge 6, 8 or 10. You will also need a piece of tape and a container with some clean water. And we measure the suction depth on the catheter. You need to mark the depth to which you will suction. So get a small piece of tape ready to mark with. Then measure from the tip of the nose to the ear lobe and halfway back. So half of the distance. The easiest way of doing this is to measure from the nose to ear. Fold it in half and then add the extra half length. Make sure you do not make it longer, otherwise you will suction too deep, which can cause vomiting and other complications. I, I already had my plaster ready so that I can mark the measured distance. Yeah. Now attach the catheter to the connector and turn on the machine. Making sure it's open here. Leave the hole open. While open, the machine is not yet sucking through the catheter. You close the hole to start suctioning. Yeah. And I switch on the machine. If you are using a catheter where there is no valve or hole, then you need to pinch the catheter tubing to stop the suction while you insert it into the baby. And I start suctioning the patient. Gently insert the catheter into the baby's nostril, all the way down to the tape. You want to limit the length of time that you suction to no longer than 10 seconds. So, close the hole to create the vacuum in the catheter and immediately start to remove the tube from the baby's nostril, twisting it gently as you go and doing it in a circular motion. Withdrawing the catheter must take no more than 10 seconds. And the tube is out before 10 seconds. Have a look at what you are suctioning into the reservoir bottle. Make sure you are not getting milk or other stomach content, in which case you may have inserted the tube too deep into the stomach rather than the air pipe. If this is the case, take out the catheter, clean it, Check you have marked the depth correctly and try again. If you are getting fresh blood, then also remove the catheter. Reduce the strength of suctioning using the regulator knob. You may need to wait to start again. After suctioning the first nostril, you should clean the catheter. I can clean uh, the suction tubing. Do this by putting it into your water bowl and sucking some water through it. It is also good to have a short pause to allow the baby to oxygenate. Before you start the second nostril, make sure you open the hole in the connector so you are not suctioning when you insert the catheter. This is important and it's easy to forget to open up the hole again. Just remember that when you insert the tube, you must never be suctioning. Otherwise, the tube will be harder to insert and will cause damage. Then I close to start suctioning. Once again, insert the tube, close the hole to start suctioning and slowly withdraw it. At the end, once again, check what you have suction in the bottle. Check that there are no other secretions that need to be suctioned and that the baby is breathing well. And if there are no more secretions, then the baby will have cleared the airway. And you may need to use a Yankawa sucker instead of a catheter if you need to remove thicker secretions. But this needs to be done very gently with a newborn, and the sucker should never be inserted further than you can see.